Hi, this is Amy from the All Tea Store. I want to show you a few products from the Outback Radiant family. Now, the models that I'm showing you right now are the GS8048A and the 4048A. Now, the 8048A is 8,000 watts, 48 volt battery bank, and the 4048 is a 4,000 watt continuous 48 volt battery bank. Now, this particular model, the A model, uh, it is 120 to 40 volt split phase, and it can do either 50 or 60 hertz field configurable. So it's typically the, the unit that you would be using in North America or anywhere that uses the North American um, 120 to 40 volts. There are dash E models available, and those will do 230 volts, uh, 50 or 60 hertz. So if the model has, if the A model has a dash 01 at the end, that means that it's listed for UL 1741-SA, and that is what's needed to, um, to be used in California. And it's also compliant uh, to, to the Hawaiian regulations, and Massachusetts is now requiring the dash SA. It also is uh, CSA uh, compliant, so it's great for Canada and um, 62109-1 for, for the rest of the world. So it really does have um, compliance for, for use all over the world. You just need to make sure that you get the right model. Dash E is a 230 volt, and the, the A is 120-240, all right? So um, really, really nice inverter charger. It is very, very flexible. So it can be uh, grid interactive, so you can grid tie it, or it can just be uh, st standalone. So it does always have to have a 48 volt battery bank. That's the one thing to remember. It is a battery based inverter. So you can use it with or without the grid. It also has dual AC inputs. So if you wanted to connect to the grid and to a generator and have it connected at the same time, so say you're in a place that um, you get very, very uh, low sun hours in the winter and you want to use a generator often in the winter, but you also want to have it connected to the grid, you can have all of that all connected while still maintaining your battery bank. Now it's got uh, the 8,000 watt um, unit has got a surge capability for up to 16,970 watts. And that's just a, a momentary surge for, for 100 milliseconds, but it does have a really nice high surge capability. So that's great if you're using it for, for pumps or motors, air conditioner, or something that, that's got a really high surge. It's a really good product to use for that. It is uh, field configurable and upgradable and field replaceable. So uh, the components, in, in case something goes wrong out in the field, you don't have to ship the whole unit back. You can actually field replace uh, any of the, the boards in there. And the firmware can be upgraded in the field. It's really, really nice because it's incredibly configurable. You've got a configuration wizard, and, and it's actually got um, a whole bunch of modes, like seven pre-programmed modes in it already. So if you want to do something like have self-consumption where you're using all of your stored power first and then going to the grid, you can do that. Um, you can have generator assist where if, if you're, you're running everything off, off your inverter but you're going to try and do something that's a really, really high load, you can have it so it will automatically have both the generator and the inverter working together. Uh, you can do z grid zero, where if you're in a place that either they don't allow you to sell back to the grid, or if you're in a location that you don't have really good rates for, for selling back to the grid. So you might be buying power from them at full price and selling back at wholesale avoided cost. So you might want to say, you know what, it's not even worth it for me to sell anything back to them. I'm just going to be completely on my own. I'll buy from the grid, but I won't sell. So so configurable, seven pre-programmed, and you can go in and tweak them as much as you want. Um, it's also very stackable. So again, this is an 8,000 watt uh, inverter, it's, and it's available in a 4,000. So um, just a little, little trivia, the, the 8,000 is actually two 4,000 watt inverters in one package. So these are stackable, so you can actually, if you need more than 8,000 watts, or if you need three phase, you can get multiple of these. 
So if you're doing three phase, you would get three of these inverters and each one would handle one leg of the phase. So you do three, six, or nine all wired together for three phase. If you're doing single phase and you need, um, you need more power, you can do up to 10 of these stacked together. So it is really very, very configurable and stackable and growable. So you can, you can gr grow it and change it as your needs change. It does have advanced battery charging. So that means you can use some of the newer lithium batteries out there. So you're not just um, obligated to only use the, the good old fashioned lead acid batteries. If you've got a different type of battery, you can use this for, for uh, lithium batteries, salt water batteries, um, nickel batteries, whatever kind of battery you've got. You've got the ability to set the charging profile for that. When you get the inverter, it includes the inverter. It comes with a, um, a mounting bracket. So you would actually mount this on the wall. So it's got basically a French cleat. So you have that bracket on the wall attached really well to studs or, or into the concrete. And then you would lower this on there and then you just attach that to the wall. So it is a pretty easy install. And you've got the option of using using just a standalone breaker box, or you can use the optional GSLC, the GS Load Center. So I'm going to do another video right after this where we're going to talk about the, the breaker box, the load center. And um, so that is the, G, the Outback GS 8048A or 4048A, the 8 or 4000 watt inverter charger from Outback Power. So this is Amy from the Alti store. I hope this was useful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.